We're going to do energy, <coughs> calculating work done, and uh, is a lead into energy. And energy is really beautiful, and we'll show you why. Uh, I can't remember exactly what your homework problem is, but let me probably get close. You got a ramp that's about five meters long, and it's about 2.5 meters in elevation. So this is some kind of a, a wheelchair ramp or a, uh, an inclined plane. This could be, a, um, you know, a, a lifting thing for a, for getting up to a, a, a height two and a half meters. That's a full story. This is actually pretty steep now that I think about it. But anyway, you've got this kind of thing set up. You're going to load something to the back of your pickup truck, and so you get a board. You're going to roll your your snow blower up to the to the uh, um, back of the pickup truck. And so uh, the question is given. You get this something. Let's say we've got just uh, something that's 10, 10 kilometers or ten uh, um, uh, ten kilograms. That's it. Ten kilograms. So it's ten kilograms. And uh, we want to we want to see how much work. And maybe the problem tells you. Maybe it tells you that it takes. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, uh, forty nine. A force of 49 newtons uh, to push it the distance of five meters. How much work is done? Well, work is equal to uh, the force that's applied times the times the distance through which that force is applied. So if I've got uh, 49 newtons of force that I'm pushing on it with. Um, and then I uh, have to move it a distance of five meters. Let's see, that's uh, 50, uh, so that's uh, 250 minus uh, five, so say uh, um, 245 joules. It takes 245 joules, okay? And uh, that's what I got. And somebody else comes along and says, no, no, no. What you got to do is just lift it. If you just lifted it and uh, it had 10 kilograms, so the mass is 10 kilograms, the weight of it would be uh, mg. So it would be 10 kilograms times acceleration due to gravity. So the weight would be 98 newtons. And then if you overcame that amount of force, the weight of the thing, to lift it, you'd only have to lift it 2.5 meters. So the distance in the y-axis would be 2.5 meters, and you could do that. So how much work would be required to do that? Well, work is equal to force times the distance through which it's applied. So in this case, work is equal to the weight of the object, which coincidentally is also a w times the distance would be in the y-axis. So work would be equal to 98 newtons times the distance, and the distance would be 2.5 meters. And so 98 times 2.5 is, it's almost 100 times 2.5, so that's uh, 2.5 times 100 would be 250, and then minus 2.5 times the difference, so minus 5, so that would be uh, 245 joules. And the answer is it's the same amount of work to push it up as to lift it. And here's why, and this is going to get a little mathematical, but don't worry about it. Let's say this is some angle theta. If you push it up here, it requires less force. The force is only equal to m times g times the sine of the angle because you don't have to overcome the whole weight, just the component of weight that's trying to pull it down the ramp. And so it's this uh, mg, the sine of the angle. And then you'd have to multiply that times the distance or the length of, of the ramp, or let's call that hypotenuse of our right triangle. So we could say that the work was equal to m times g times the sine of the angle times the hypotenuse. Well, how much work would be required to lift it? Well, to lift it, we would have to overcome a force equal to the entire weight, so all of mg, but we would only have to lift it a distance equal to 
part of the hypotenuse. And let's see, this is the opposite side of the triangle. So the opposite side, the y-axis, is equal to the sine of the angle times the hypotenuse. So the work needed to, to go this way would be equal to mg times the sine of the angle times the hypotenuse. And if you look carefully, you'll notice that this equation is exactly the same as this equation. And that's how a ramp works. You push with less force, mg sine theta, for more distance, hypotenuse. To lift it, you lift with more force, mg, but you only have to uh, lift it less distance, h times the sine of theta. So that's why it's the same. It doesn't matter which way you go. Now, if we include friction, we got a problem there. So maybe I'll save that for energy.